Hey there, techies. Welcome to another review. And has it been a long time since the last review? Holy crap. Anyways, I've been busy with work lately, you know, the same old, same old there. And I've had a lot of computers lately that have been needing repairs. So, um, yeah, I've been doing that. Uh, and also, I've been working on a project for my channel here. Now, it's not really going to be related to the same genre. You guys are used to uh, the, the computer security and things like that. Uh, but I'll get I'll let you guys in on what it really is going to be about. Essentially, it's going to be on how to free yourself from your paid TV subscriber, whether it be cable or satellite, and substitute that for a free over-the-air solution. In turn, also making that free over-the-air solution pretty much as reliable, if not more reliable, than your paid TV subscriber uh, if you have satellite or something like that. And then also retaining those shows that you watch on your either cable or satellite subscription and not losing those with also saving lots and lots of money. So that's really what I'm going to be talking about in there. And it's a long video, but there's a lot to talk about to ensure that you get a good quality uh, signal as well as the content that you want to watch. Anyways, so that's going to be a different video. Let's kind of shift gears back to the parent video here, which is Panda Free Antivirus. 2016. So as you can see, we have the installation file right here, which is whopping two megabits roughly. So we're going to go ahead and run this as administrator and see what we get. Now, keep in mind, guys, I have not run this at all on this system yet. So this is the first time installation. So let's go ahead and run it. And I just turned this virtual machine on. So I apologize if it's a little bit slow, but um, Nevertheless, it is probably trying to update Windows 10 because Windows 10 is always updating. Anyways, as you can see, here it is, the installation window. So far, it's very easy. Now, Panda has always kind of prided themselves on being a free and easy solution. And uh, so far, I'd have to say it is because uh, go next here. And then, okay, so now this becomes a little bit more complicated. Oh, installation directory looks good to me. I'll leave that at default. Install Panda toolbar, protects get against malicious websites, we'll leave that. Set Yahoo as a home page or in default search engine. Let's uncheck those because I like my search engines the way they are, thank you very much. And we'll click accept and install. And of course, they gotta try to sell you the pro version. We're just gonna pass on that and click on the basic protection. This is realistically all you would really need if you were gonna run Panda, anything more complicated than that, then there are other solutions out there for you that would be a lot more customizable than, than Panda in my mind. So here we go, we are installing. So far it is very quick. Uh, it looks as if it is downloading the installation files here. All right, so the installation is complete here. So we'll go ahead and click, I guess we'll open now. Let's take a look at the interface here and see what it is like. Uh, so far the installation has been very straightforward, have not had to do much in the way of uh, anything at all interacting with it. So it says starting, the, uh, starting for the first time after installation. Okay, so it needs to check, make sure everything's working properly and your computer's secure. Okay, this may take a few minutes. All right, I guess that few minutes was just a few seconds. So, uh, select account later. Yeah, we'll do that later. All right, so here is the interface. Uh, so far, looking at this interface, I like it. I have to say I like it a lot. Uh, very straightforward, click on module here. Okay, last scan, scan now. So if I click that, it can actually start the scan. No, it's going to give me options. Good. Full scan, critical scan, custom scan. That's pretty much all you need right there. Uh, different event logs. Click on the little arrow right here. You can go to the different modules such as process monitor, uh, USB protection. That's nice to see that they have that. And uh, rescue kit. So it looks like you can create a rescue thumb drive here that you can then utilize the, a bootable environment to clean off your system. So that's nice. Settings, let's see what they got for settings here quick. So gaming mode, that's nice to see they got that. Uh, not much in the way of general settings. Antivirus, what do we have there? Okay, so enable permanent protection, scan compressed folder files, behavior blocker, that looks good, looks good. Okay, so it looks as if everything default is pretty good. Uh, quarantine, emptying the quarantine every week. So those are all the exclusions right there. 
uh, USB protections on, process monitors on, that's good to see. And I currently connected the internet, okay, that's good. Um, all right, so, so far I'm pretty impressed. Uh, it's very straightforward. I have to say very, very straightforward, very simple interface. Uh, what do we have if we click next here? Support firewalls off. Oh, so we have to buy the firewall, I see. Uh, rescue kit, that's that thing we saw earlier where we can create the rescue USB. Not a rescue disk though. That's kind of interesting how they don't allow you to do that. And then I guess this page is just blank. All right then. Okay, so that's pretty much the uh, interface and the installation. Not much to it, guys. Very, very straightforward. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to reboot the computer just to allow uh, Panda to get acquainted with the system, make sure everything is running properly. And then we're going to go ahead and start the uh, prevention test, see how well it can prevent attacks from the system through the internet. So let me go ahead and go to the um, power options here and restart. So I'll be back once the computer is finished restarting and we'll move on with the test.